property owner. Well, I'm going to dismiss this question really quickly because I think I should spend my time telling you as a legislator what I think the top priorities are as legislators. But this question, no, I'm not in favor of an energy audit. Uh, it's just another costly mandate on, uh, on the real estate industry. And you're all familiar with the costly mandates. And if you feel under siege, uh, you should, because every year legislators propose new bills that hurt uh, the real estate industry. Um, I have been endorsed by the realtors in the past because I adhere to a lot of their principles. Uh, a principle of protecting private property rights, which is very important. Uh, and also, the real issue um, to me of the day is getting Connecticut's fiscal house in order. Until we get our fiscal house in order, you as an industry and other businesses are always going to be under the threat of higher taxation. That threat of higher taxation is going to keep businesses from coming into Connecticut and keep businesses from expanding in Connecticut. So the priority, one of my top priorities are, is to get Connecticut's fiscal house in order. The other priority is job creation. As a legislator, I uh, will be willing to work in public-private partnerships uh, to bring jobs into the state of Connecticut. We have to take some risks in doing that. We, we did this with Jackson Labs, uh, partners and partnering with the Jackson Labs in the hope that we can build a biotech industry in the state of Connecticut. But uh, job creation has to be our focus. Young, too many young people are leaving this state. But in order to create that, uh, we have to have the right environment in the state of Connecticut. Government can only create government jobs. We don't need bigger government. What we need is a bigger private sector, and we need a diverse private sector. So our focus is, as, as legislators, and, and my focus is, is to create the climate that allows business to grow and expand. We can do that through taxation policy and proper regulations, but we cannot continue to look to the real estate industry as a cash cow. That is, we keep coming back to the real estate industry and hitting you up with new taxes, whether it's conveyance tax and this ridiculous bias conveyance tax. So what's going to be the next session? You should think, if you are under siege, you should, there's a reason you're under siege, okay? Because we got bills that come out of the legislature every year that negatively impact your industry. So we must, and I will work uh, to promote a strong housing industry because that is critical to getting this economy back. Without a strong housing industry, we will not have a strong economy in the state of Connecticut. Thank you.